Hello everyone, I'm Tobias, and we're back with another quest guide. Excuse me. Uh, this sign for, uh, for a poor sign of interest. The objective here is to find the suspect destroying Sarah's farm. Uh, Sarah is a, um, I guess, a farmer, uh, and essentially someone keeps stealing her uh, stuff. Um, I have no idea what this is. What, the, what is this? I guess we'll take it. Huh? Anyway, so. Um, Someone or something, I should uh, be more, uh, I guess, uh, accurate. For this quest, you will need uh, uh, one rope and one knife. And for optional stuff, you could, yeah, it's good to be common level at least 20. Uh, because you have to fight a kind of mini boss, um, pig monster. Um, so, spoiler alert, spoiler alert uh, the pig is a culprit. Uh, and uh, for combat gear, Either bring range or melee stab gear. Uh, you cannot use melee slash, so like, like a scimitar, like slashing will not work, or basically a magic uh, that would not work specifically on this hog. Um, although I, I think in the in the the, um, the general um, theme outside this quest, you can do so. But I, that, oh, I'll, I'll 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 talk to you more about it when I get there. Uh, I'll also have some, having some food depending on your combat level and stats and some energy potions help you kind of be more efficient and we're to, to fast travel to Draenor Village where we will spend the entire quest essentially uh, such as using the Amulet Glory to um, well, Draenor Village Alright so to start this quest make sure you have all your items um, specifically the uh, rope and also the knife um, and also combat gear it's the main things once you have everything, head away to join your village. You can use Amulet Glory to join a village I did. Put you right there by the crossroad. Head your way west into this marketplace area. And there's a teleportation drop-off zone head over here. Once you're here, we're going, we're going to um, read this notice board right, on, right by the, uh, the Fortuna's wine stall. There's a bunch of tasks to be done. You search through the notice board. Damage, roof for sale, come on down to Bob's axes and Lumbridge. Contributions, welcome to Ned's new window fund. Wait a minute, what is this? Keen fighters sought to deal with troublesome monster. Reward offer, speak to Sarah at South Faldor Farm for details. Uh, that looks worthwhile. And then start the quest. Right, so let's go see what Sarah has in mind. So once you have done that, hey, way to um, to Sarah. She is inside of this farm, South Outer Farm, right there, not too far from the actual marketplace. <coughs> um, yeah, and she's gonna be right here inside the uh, the main um, room. There we are. So left click and then talk to her. Do not trade. That won't get you far. Uh, let's talk to her. Hello, how can I help you? about the bounty. Oh, St. Terra Dolmans, it's about time someone responded. Something needs to be done. What has happened? Of course, I was making my monthly delivery to the Sheared Ram in Lumbridge, a pub. Heading east near Draenor Village crossroads section, suddenly out the trees came a hulking monster. It chased me for a short distance, but luckily Rosie managed to spook it enough to give me a uh, head start. So she managed to escape. Hmm. Sounds like it must uh, have given you quite the scare. It certainly did. I even lost my car full of farm produce. So her uh, her stuff is gone. And you can talk to her more for information you want to. Excellent. Best of luck. And once you have done that, head away to the, the crossroad section. Which is uh, right here. Um, between, uh, I guess, a, a bunch of uh, different uh, places. Once you're at the crossroad, head your way a bit uh, east to this cart and then investigate it. It seems as though the monster was trying to run off with some of Sarah's produce. From the looks of things, it was heading northeast. And then proceed to follow this trail of produce. <coughs> which will lead you to a um, hole over here. And once you're over here, we're going to use the rope on this hole. So we're going to enter inside. There we are. 
you tie it around the protruding rock and then climb down into a strange hole and oh look at that oops more uh, more rope I guess <laughs> anyway so head down uh, south here and head to this um, red dot which is a a bronze scimitar next to a dead body so now we're going we're going we're going to search this dead body and see what has happened investigate it the skeleton seems fresh. <laughs> that must be, I guess, rosy. It seems like the bones have been gnawed clean fairly recently. So this thing is a uh, carnivore too. There's also a squad note. I can barely read it. And you guys read it. Uh, I see. I, I guess it's pretty short anyway. This is what I get for exploring uncharted caves. Looks like I'm trapped down here. My entry. Rope slipped off and now there's nowhere to go but deeper. I think I'll be safer just waiting and praying for rescue. If anyone finds this, just get out while you can. Uh, okay. Oh! Uh, so, so be careful not to like click outside of this box, which will basically reset the entire thing. Uh, just come, um, yeah. Well, that's not exactly reassuring. Oh, look at that. Whoa, nice piggy. And right in the face, Haktua, boom, in the face. Some time passes. Oh, and, and also be careful if, if you have your kitten outside and, and you accidentally kind of click outside this area and, um, and you basically be re uh, respawn into the front of the entrance and also lose your kitten. Uh, and yeah, 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 you basically get, get a new kitten, so make sure you don't uh, just click outside, click on the dialog box and you'll be fine. And we have a savior in the nick of time. With a crossbow. Well then, what do we have here? Still breathing, yeah? Seems I just came at right at the right time. We better get out we better get out of here before that thing returns. How is that maybe she find me? What happened? Where am I? So I talked to this mysterious Spria person. Oh, you're awake. Who are you? How did I end up here? My name is Spria. I am the sl Slayer Master. You've had a nasty encounter with a Sourhog. A Sourhog? You mean a giant pig monster? Precisely. You're extremely lucky that I found you. Another few hours and, I, and you'll be basically hog chow. Were you res responding to Sarah's bounty too? Yes, it was. It, sound, it sounded like an easy task. I thought as much. I found you on the floor of the cave. You must have been knocked unconscious. That thing caught me completely off guard. Normally I can handle myself in a fight, but its spitting attack is quite fearsome. The beast's saliva is extremely acidic and your eyes are most vulnerable. It will cause terrible injuries and leave you unable to attack to defend yourself very well. So how do I do this? Luckily, the Slayer skill provides us with a, a range of useful items and te techniques for dealing with these spe special foes. In the case of the Sourhog, you need these, which are a pair of reinforced goggles. This eye wear will protect you from the spitting attack, allowing you to fight the monster on equal terms. Most enemies have a weakness too. The Sourhog's thick hide provides extra protection against slashing, so melee slashing and also insulation from magic damage. You best try to use peril, use arrows or a stabbing weapon. Uh, go on, the bounty is all yours to claim. I suggest you recoup your strength and head back to the fight using the goggles I gave you. If you make it out alive, collect your bounty and then talk to me again. Uh, and you can basically talk to her more. Hmm. Uh, why, are you why are you helping me? I suppose I could have left you there to be eaten alive, but you know what that makes me? A monster. And as a slave master, that's not, really, that, that's not really a good look for me. Besides, my father always taught me that knowledge is more worth more than gold. I'm happy to sacrifice a few gold coins in order to pass my experience on to you. So I guess I'm her apprentice now. Well, I'm sure you were able to... Um, 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 well, I'm glad you were, you were there to lend a hand. Thank you. 
Don't mention it. Was there anything else you need? Nope. Good. So, uh, so now equip your goggles, and uh, if you haven't already done so, um, stop by the the um, the the bank and pull out your combat gear, your food, um, and also your knife. You will need a knife. Once you have everything, <coughs> head back to um, the uh, the other cave. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be uh, quite quite a br brilliant fight. Climb back down. All right, so there it is, waiting for us. Before I fight this Sour Hog level thirty-seven, let me uh, just go over a few things for you guys. Uh, without the reinforced goggles that Spear give us, uh, he can he yeah uh, the sour hog can um, basically damage up to 30, uh, 30 HP uh, using a mixture of like a melee range attack um, kind of a combination, and also drain your attack and defense stats uh, down to by like 90 percent. So for me, all the way down to like nine nine out of ninety. So uh, there's quite a lot of stuff without these reinforced goggles. Make sure you uh, have them equipped. And and uh, as Spria um, told us, the Sourhawk is re resistant to melee slash, so like a like, like a scimitar slashing will not work. And also magic, you can't use magic against it either. So your your your, your two options are basically using range, like I am, or basically using a melee stab, like a I guess a long sword stabbing. Uh, and it's uh, um, also immune to poison. You can't do that either. If you use ring of, of recoil. Um, you, you must have dealt at least one damage um, to it personally yourself or, or, um, to actually get credit for this kill uh, for, and um, in particular this quest. So just, just attack, it, attack it like a regular, regular enemy using um, the suggestions that I have kind of uh, outlined. So use range or melee stab. I don't think Spear will be rescuing, rescuing me this time. If I go in there, I'll be fighting this thing to death. So, uh, oh, uh, and also I think uh, if you die here, you lose your stuff as well. So make sure you repaired. Um, anyway, it's not too difficult. Hand side, and then just uh, attack it. Um, does it does it like a, a range thing to you? There you go, like the uh, spitball attack, and done. Okay, so once you have killed it, what you want to do is uh, with your knife, you want to um, slash up a leg. Oop, right there, it's just one leg, that's all you need. Anyway, so that, that's uh, the beast we just killed. So now let's go back to Sarah in her South uh, Faldor farm. Hello, how can I help you about the bounty? Uh, monster won't be troubling you anymore. Oh, that's fanta fantastic news, I'm so relieved. Wait, how do, I, how do I know you're not lying to me? Uh, how about this? Pulls out a uh, uh, foot. <laughs> Ugh, yes, that's certainly about right. Uh, indeed, the smell is quite special. Hmm. Okay, I probably just give that to the dog. I'm glad you made it back. Some strange woman in the hood came asking for a job shortly after you left. I didn't want her back in here though. Thank you, here's your reward, 5,000 coins. A heavy pouch of 5,000 coins. Perhaps I should speak with Spria and tell her that the monster has been dealt with. So now head back to uh, to Spreer inside of uh, Drainer Village, and there she is. Uh, she's talked to her and finished his quest up. Hello, and what are you after? Uh, I have killed it, and collected the bounty for Sarah. Very impressive, Slayer. I'm glad the goggles worked very well. Although these these sour hogs often live in primitive tribes, I feel that there are ones out there to be more to follow, huh? We may have to monitor the lair from time to time to keep their population in check. So what happens now? I'm awarding you 30 slayer points you can use to purchase slayer stuff for me to improve your effectiveness as a slayer and also slayer and other slayer masters across Flynor. You can earn more points by completing tasks assigned by me one at a time. Or, or other Slayer Masters as well. Um, when you start to become adept at slaying, you begin to receive tasks that can be especially lucrative, so making money. So get training. 
quest completed, got ourselves one quest point, 1000 Slayer Speed, 30 Slayer Reward Points, and some Reinforced Goggles. And by the way, you seem to have a natural talent for killing monsters, would you like a new Slayer task now? No. <laughs> Very well, come back if you change your mind. Alright, so there you have it guys, we have killed our first, I guess, Slayer specific monster, the Sour Hog. And as you can see, you, you can get another assignment for her, you can trade uh, your Slayer points. Uh, I, I guess this is GP. Yeah, this is GP. So you can buy Slayer items using your GP. And also, your Slayer points gives you specific uh, bonuses, um, like uh, more darkness. Uh, gives you more, uh, more like stuff to do here. So, um, it's actually... Um, we have unlocked the entire, uh, the entire skill set for a Slayer.